babes if the quality looks different girl is because we are vlogging off my phone right now because we are doing something exciting today i am going to my first ever washington redskins football game now i am not a huge redskins fan okay like well honestly i'm not a football fan period um but so i got free tickets i was supposed to go with my little sister she couldn't go anymore so i got my forever plus one with me oh the commanders i'm sorry that's how you know i don't be mm -mm. i had to get this a clear bag from target because if you guys don't know in fedex field you can only have a clear bag and i also had to get this long coat from target because eric made a good point if it, the seats are wet then my clothes are gonna get wet yeah i just wanted to go ahead and start the vlog and i'll see babes at the game y'all they are out here robbing people okay i had to pay 55 dollars to park like what 55 dollars so i'll see you guys inside huh that's real Play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Don't play with it. I just wanna walk neck, nigga on the tongue. Big You just wanna send me automatic with a drum. Hit me if I finish now, nah, that just begun. We are in the car as y'all can see. I am on the way to my office building. Not my work office. Well, it's a work office building, but for my business, Shaylin, you know, Shaylin Day, LLC, you know, for her. We're on our way to the office building for that. So I decided to cancel my P.O. box and just go ahead and get my mail here because it's something I'm paying for. So might as well get a double whammy, okay? So I'm on my way here to pick up some packages because am I in the HIV lane? And then after that, we have a wax appointment, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm very, very nervous about y'all because it's been a minute since I got a wax and I feel like anytime it's been a minute since I got a wax, like it just always bite a little bit more. I don't wanna say hurt because it's so quick and like, but it always hurt a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Like it's always, it bite a little bit more. I, I said I don't wanna say hurt, but then I said hurt. I'm telling y'all right now, once my business generates a certain threshold, I'm hiring an editor, like hands down. That's just not my favorite part of the content creator process. I like being in front of the camera. I love filming, but when it comes to the editing, I'm just like, mm, it's somebody else to do it, okay? This is my turn. Girl, this is my turn, not y'all distracting me. I'm going this way, it's like, mm, mm. There's more packages over here than I thought. Cause I'm like, what is some of this stuff? I don't know. But I'm super excited to open this package, which is by Shop811. One of my subscribers, girl, if you're watching this, hey girl, hey, what's up? I didn't even ask you your name, that's so rude. So please DM me or comment down below your name, girl. But she has a business, she DM'd, well, she emailed me. She's professional, we love a professional girl, okay? Um, she emailed me, she emailed my business email and asked, cause she sent me some stuff. And I'm like, of course, girl, like, so she sent me um, her jewelry to try. Y'all know I love, love, love jewelry. Um, so I'm gonna unbox that with y'all and share it with y'all. If y'all have a business and y'all wanna send me something, please just let me know and I'm happy to support y'all and show y'all love like one thing about me like I don't have to get a check for every little thing I do especially when it comes to y'all y'all are already supporters subscribers y'all already do so much for me baby if y'all have a business that y'all want me to show in the vlog just let me know girl or if you want to send me something and I'm gonna take an Instagram pic and you know what I mean I don't mind helping the babes out okay but these brands these these brands they gotta pay Okay, you gotta pay, play. Um, but yeah, like don't be afraid. Like if y'all have a business or anything, like y'all can send me stuff. And of course, like I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna post about it. Like, and if your stuff is good, baby, you, you probably gonna have a new customer. Cause one thing about it, two things for show. Okay, I like to shop. Um, and I've been looking for new jewelry brands. So I'm excited to see her pieces. And she has some really cute stuff on there. So I was already plotting and it's super affordable y'all, so. But yeah, I need to focus on this road. I will see you guys once we get to our wax appointment. They fall on the line, the cash in hand, in no time. I think, think that. Oh, I already know this goal. But June will be seven in April, and this will be six in. Have you ever been to Enchant? 
Uh uh-uh, uh, that's like the lights, right? Mm-hmm. I do want to go. Ice skating. Yeah. We're gonna go this weekend. Oh. We're gonna go on a trip all day. I'm so excited. Oh. Okay, you're all good. Thank you. Hey y'all, it's me from the future, okay? Your girl has not talked to y'all in a couple days in this vlog, but I wanted to come back and do my PR unboxing with you guys because I was super excited about it. I also wanted to talk to y'all about the Beyonce movie as I unbox PR. So this first package is from 811. This is the one I was telling you guys that I was super excited about. This is actually from a subscriber and I know her name now, it's Vanessa. Um, so hey girl, Vanessa, if you're watching this, I'm super excited to get into your package because I love me some jewelry, okay? I might even put it on right now. Oh my God, she gave me two things, she's so sweet. Oh my God, no, she gave me a lot. Oh my God, she hooked your girl up. Her branding is so cute. So it says, thank you and come shop with us. I'm gonna tag her brand. So you can find her on Instagram at shop811 or her website at www.shop8, as in the number 8, 11.co. So let's go ahead and get into the first package. Oh my God, and it comes with the cutest stickers. Like, do y'all see this? Branding, okay? And she bubble wrapped it to make sure your package comes and it's perfect. Why is this so freaking cute? Look at this cross necklace, y'all. So freaking cute. I'm obsessed. One, I love me a cross because baby never would have made it without him. Okay, love me a cross. And I love the pearl detailing. And then she sent me some huggies and I needed some silver huggy hoops. So these are the hoops. They are so cute. And I love how like dainty and tiny they are. I cannot wait to wear and style these. And then she sent me over some gold pieces. Mama sent me over options, okay? She sent me over another cross, okay? She must know I'm holy, okay? It's like, I told her to send me over whatever she wanted. And then she sent me over the gold version of the hoops. So freaking cute. This is from Clarence. Oh, okay, so they sent me over a double serum light texture treatment complex. This looks so cute and luxurious. Shout out to Clarence. This is a nice touch. Whenever I get PR with a handwritten note, it just, it hits different. It really, really does. And then they sent me over their lip oil. I've been loving lip oils, so I'm super excited to try this one out. It smells good. It definitely feels like your typical lip oil. It's not greasy at all. And my lips do look glossy, which I like. I like when my lips look glossy, but they don't feel sticky. So I'm definitely gonna add that to my purse. And this is from, I believe, Lus. Yeah, Lus Brands. The first thing it came with is a Love Curls Comb. Love your curls comb. Ooh, I love how they're numbered. So it tells you like what order you should go in. And it's silicone free, which is a good thing. And sulfate free shampoo. So this is the shampoo, this is the conditioner, and then this is your styler. Super cute. And then they also put some extra products in here. Hopefully it's some gel, because one thing about me, I love gel for my wash and go. Also y'all, as far as the Beyonce movie, if you haven't seen it, go see it. Even if you aren't a super Beyonce fan, and beehives don't come for me, I'm just not a beehive, okay? I love Beyonce, I love her music, I do listen to her music, but I'm just not a huge Beyonce stan to the point where I was willing to go to Renaissance and spend all that money. However, the movie, it allowed me to feel what the concert was like, get a vibe for the concert and also it just opened me to a new light of Beyonce like I just feel like before I saw Beyonce it's like not human and this movie really made her come across as human it just also showed like her struggle and it's like pretty much like there's no excuse like baby Beyonce was singing and dancing through bronchitis through sinus infections she had surgery on her on her knee like it's just been so many things and this woman has still persevered not to mention isn't Beyonce in her 40s? Like, and she's doing these amazing things. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie y'all, the movie just motivated me to go hard. I've had one of the most productive days today that I've had in a long time. And I truly think it's because I saw that movie. Sometimes you need to see other people's stories, hear other people's struggles, and just, it gives you sometimes that push that you need. So if you haven't seen the Renaissance movie, 100% recommend you go. I didn't get a chance to vlog there because it's a movie theater and 
yeah i got there kind of late but i saw the whole movie but i was a little late you know what i'm saying but it was such a good movie okay oh this is a deep conditioning and repair which i definitely need it says it's good for all hair types it's a gel period i spoke it into existence mousse is cute and all but mousse to me is like i want my hair to be big and i'm only gonna rock that for a couple days because my hair be so big and not as defined so this one is from l'ocetane l'ocetan l'ocetane is that how you see it? I don't know, girl. Look at it. It's so cute. It feels like a Christmas gift. And it comes cutely packaged. Like, what? This is such a, a moment for me because my grandma, she used to love L'Occitane Lositin, hand cream. Like, it was the only hand cream she would use. And like just receiving this pr like i can just i just know she's smiling and she's just like so proud of me they sent over their hand cream and then they sent over their proactive youth skin care enriched emulsion it's for pores fine line and plumpness and they sent over an overnight reset oil in serum and then they sent over a shower oil before i had a random sale so i decided to pick up some items i still have two more items that i need to go pick up let's go ahead and get into what i got because these are some things that i've wanted for a while i haven't tried these out yet i'm gonna try them out tomorrow when i do like my little no makeup makeup look i've been into really like effortless clean girl makeup like i'm really getting away from like lash extensions i just want to focus on like loving my natural self like just enhancing very slightly so that's what my makeup is focused on so we picked up this refi cream bronzer and this is in the shade tan and then i also got a refi cream blush because I don't own any cream blushes. Well, I have another Refi cream blush, but it's red. Um, and I wanted one that was more subtle, more for like every day. And so I got this in the shade Rose, which on the model, it looked stunning. It looked just like I'm blushing from within the look. You guys can see the shade. It's like a kind of pinky mauve color. And then I've just seen so much hype about this Refi brush. So I decided to get it, especially since I'm gonna be trying out their bronzer and their blush. I just thought this would be a great time to go ahead and give it a try because that is what this brush is for. And then, like I said, I'm in my natural lash era. So I went ahead and picked up an eyelash curler. This is the Shiseido brand. I have been typically using the e.l.f. one, which is literally so cheap. But the girlies that wear their natural lashes have been saying this eyelash curler is a game changer. And it better be because it was $24 compared to $6. Like, it's insane. So I'm expecting this to make my lashes curl like they've never been curled. Otherwise, it's going back, okay? Because I don't play those games. The next item that I picked up was this... Laura Mercier powder. This is in the shade Translucent. Last year came out with a fragrance, I think a little while ago. And I saw a lot of people talking about it on TikTok, but I just never thought Glossier would create a fragrance that I would be interested in. But girl, I got a booklet in the mail and I smelled this and I said, baby, <laughs> I need that. It's just like the perfect, warm, sweet, but still clean girl scent. It's not overpowering. I'm curious to see how long this lasts. I went ahead and got the rollerball instead of the spray because I was just like, let me test it out, see how I feel before before I commit to a full-size bottle. We finally made it to Tia's for the get together. Um, there's nothing ready. Um, I'm hungry. <laughs> you scared my happy boy. And Bentley, Bentley don't like me all, but I'm, he, I'm a girl on him. It really throws me off that Bentley don't like me because I swear I'm a dog whisperer. Like, I've never met a dog that don't like me. So it hurts my feelings that he don't like me, so. Hi, my sweet boy. Look at him, so handsome. Y'all, hey, look at the little gift basket that Tia made. She's the hostess with the mostest. Yeah. Yeah. So cute, and look at mine with the S. Oh, is this for wine? Yeah. Okay. So cute. No, you remember? No, you remember when we? No, you remember the Dr. Pepper thing? She will not yeah. let me live that down. We went, to, we went, to, but I swear, I think I got her. Either you got me sick or I got you sick because we was both sick after sipping that. It was you. <laughs> Hey babes, y'all haven't seen me in a couple days. I have had a lot going on, okay, girl? It's just being chaotic. But I wanted to do a little quick haul because I had started showing y'all things that I got from Sephora and I picked up a couple more items and I got some cute little stuff I wanna share with you guys. So let's start off with Sephora first. So I got two makeup products. I got 
this Rare Beauty Mascara, and then this Refi Lip Sculpt, and this is in the shade Fawn. And y'all, I got the cutest watch from JBW. This is not sponsored, y'all. They sent me over this watch. I did do a collaboration with them a little while back, and I've been wanting this watch for so long, y'all, and they sent it over to me. I'm so happy. Now, I will say this, this new box, I do not care for it because it's just hard to like get into it. And it's like for the girlies who have nails, it's just, yeah, it's a recipe for disaster. But here is the watch, y'all. It is so gorgeous. She is so petite and I love that she is two tone. Um, I realized that I'm not really a gold or a silver girl. I really love both and I love to switch it up. So I definitely wanted a timepiece that was two tone, but I just love how simplistic this one is. I absolutely love my watches from JBW, but they all do have some sort of bling to it. So I really wanted like a go to everyday timeless plain Jane piece. Now, obviously I have to get the links removed, but how freaking cute is that then i got the perfect heels for the winter moment of silence okay these are patent leather pump okay these are from nine west it has like a sling back heel and i love that this is like a burgundy like really deep red color i just think this would look so cute with some like black tights and a little black dress and let this be like your pop of color if you guys don't know red is definitely the color this season <laughs> These days, I'm letting God handle all things above me. The things I can't change are the reason you love me. Listen, you can hear them calling my name. I'm all over the place. I can't sit in one place. I'm not ashamed at all. Still finding myself, let alone a soulmate. I'm just saying. Feel like we want in the same. Our relationship changed. That or it never existed. Hey y'all, this is me doing a test on my new DJI Pocket 3. Um, I'm just kind of like playing around with it and seeing like how to kind of work it and just, yeah, learning the ins and outs. I'm trying to figure out how to, oh, that's how you move it. Okay, we're learning. Finally found the wide angle lens. So that's something to note. You definitely want to keep up with this so you don't lose it. So I'm just gonna pop. Y'all, and we have a wider length. This is crazy. I'm literally like playing around with it in real time. It's so tiny and lightweight. Compared to my other vlogging camera, I'm obsessed with this so far. The lighting looks like it could be a little weird. Y'all let me know if y'all like the coloring. I'm gonna play around, watch some YouTube videos, see how to set it up. Good morning, y'all. I am in the car. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm filming with the Pocket 3. I hope this looks good. I don't know. I can't tell if I like the quality yet or not, y'all. So bear with me. But we are headed to Philly. I'm super excited. We're going to have like a little date day. We stopped at the gas station. Eric's getting me gas right now. I don't know if y'all can see. But we stopped at the gas station because I was on half a tank. And obviously, I want to be on a full tank because the drive is like three hours. But yeah, we have a fun day planned. We're going to just pretty much explore Philly. We want to go to King of Prussia Mall, which I'm sure, sure is going to be insane because this is the weekend before Christmas. I'm sure it's going to be busy there. And then we have a reservation at Steak 48, which I'm super excited about. So it's going to be a cute date day. Me and Eric love doing like date days where we just do something fun and adventurous. Like it can get kind of boring just going to the same old restaurants in your area. So we decided to take the opportunity to just drive to Philly, change the scenery, explore Philly, have a good time, enjoy each other's company. And we're just going for the day and then we're going to come back. But yeah, I wanted to go ahead and start off this vlog. Eric actually made us some to-go breakfast. I have eggs and turkey bacon. He had eggs, turkey bacon, and potatoes. Y'all, I'm trying to do better, okay? I'm really trying to lose weight, okay? I'm really trying. So I will see you guys once we get to Philly. Y'all, so I see this coat in Primark, but I don't know if I should get it because it just, I don't know, it feels like really cheap, but it's like really cute. What do we think? Me too. I kind of want to go to Mango though. Y'all, is this cardigan cute or not? I think it's super cute. Okay, Primark. 
Y'all, I'm obsessed with this coat. Oh, why was I so excited to go to Mango? And it says new store opening. It's not even open yet. Love that constant coat in Aritzia, but it's expensive as opposed to the Primark one. But y'all know I'm trying to be like quality over quantity, honestly. So I don't know. I'm still thinking, but we're going to walk around and see what we can find. Y'all, we walk around this mall. This mall is huge and I'm tired and hungry and thirsty. And I want to go back to Primark because I think I'm going to get that cardigan that I saw. I like the black jacket, but I think I want to wait and just get a better quality one because I really love that one from Aritzia. It just fit really, really good. So we're going to head back to Primark and then we're going to head out. I just still feel like we don't know where we're going. I didn't got hot, y'all. This mall is a workout. If you want to get your steps in, go to King of Prussia, okay? Because, baby, you're going to walk 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 okay so as y'all can see it's getting darker we're actually on our way to what's the restaurant steak 48 i'm super excited to go to steak 48 i basically got that cardigan and that jacket that i tried on they're both super cute and it was super affordable it's only 50 dollars, y'all for a cardigan and a long cardigan and for a black jacket so eric ran in the bank real quick we're about to go get something to eat but i was saying that philly really reminds me of like baltimore if you're from baltimore the dmv or philly like and you've been to baltimore it is the same okay it looks the same it feels the same like the roads are the same the roads are treacherous out here okay i just got my car aligned okay philadelphia don't make me send y'all a bill because if my car is messed up i'm not paying for it again y'all gonna pay for it okay i'm gonna sue the city but i'm so excited to eat y'all i'm starving we're gonna get there a little early we're gonna get there at 5 15 our reservations at 5 30 so that's perfect um i'm gonna pretty much wear what i had on i'm just gonna throw on like a heeled boot and my new jacket to kind of jazz it up your pressure overall was a great experience um it's a big mall though like it's very like overwhelming uh -huh, you're welcome but yeah, King of Prussia was a cool mall. Just a bit overwhelming. And yeah, a lot of walking for sure. But the one thing I did like about that mall, I feel like they had high-end and low-end stores. Like, if you didn't find something in one place, you could definitely find it in another place. So, yeah. Overall, cool experience. I would go back to the mall there. Um, maybe not during the busiest time of the year, which is Christmas time, but definitely 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 would go back but i will see you guys once we get to stake 48 I was being real secretive in there trying to record and stuff but um we're gonna talk about our rating so eric what do you rate steak 48 uh, eight, eight out of ten he said eight out of ten i said nine out of ten but babe tell them why you said eight out of ten because the houston one was better so eric's been to the houston steak 48 and he said it was way better um like the scenery was better the ambiance was better like just all together Better. Better maps, yeah. yeah, so um and they told me turn my head around. Oh yeah, and they told <laughs> Eric walked in, he had his hat to the back. Now it's to the front, but he had it to the back and they told him to turn his hat around. Which after I thought about it, at first I was like, okay, that's just this establishment, whatever. But after I thought about it, I was kinda like, mm, I don't know, that might be a little racial profiling because I'm like, if you allow people to wear hats in your establishment, why does it matter if the hat is turned to the back, the side, or the front? Like what difference does it make so that was kind of weird i didn't really like that but they were really nice to us we had a really nice waiter his name was mckellen mclean mckellen he was really really nice um and they gave us free champagne y'all free champagne and free cookies um because eric told them we was from dc and we came out here to try their restaurant which is true we pretty much planned this whole trip they probably thought we was keith lee and him <laughs> eric, eric talked about 
they thought we was keep le they might have or you know what i mean shoot mm. um but yeah we the spent yeah they're auto look at them looking at a period um i'm a little tipsy y'all i had a little lemon um oh people drive crazy out here we had a good spread too we had so we got calamari and shrimp as our appetizer and then what what would you rate that don't do your face seven. Like seven okay so we had calamari and shrimp as six our <laughs> seven six bad I'm going i thought the sauce was really good I'm so i'd give it a five. seven I'm going the five. sauce the sauce made it i will say that the sauce definitely yeah. made the calamari and shrimp yeah. so we got that and then as our drinks we both got espresso martinis i don't know what i was thinking getting that because eric we ordered it with like tequila reposado which was way 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 too strong and doing too much for your girl so i didn't really drink mine eric ended up drinking it um, so I ended up getting a lemon drop and then for entrees I got the ribeye bone-in ribeye um, And Eric got the lamb chops um, I would rate my ribeye a 10 out of 10. Babe, what you were in your lamb chops? The lamb was buzzing. What does it get out of 10? Nine? Nine. Okay. No, I might go yeah, we going 9.5? 9. 9.5. 9. 9. 9. 5. 9. 5. That's crazy for him because he's 5. very picky. And he don't really eat red meat. So if he says lamb chops are a 9.5, that's insane. And then our sides, we got the seafood, mac and cheese, and the asparagus. What do you rate the asparagus? Asparagus was a 7. 7. Okay, I agree with that. What about the... Um, seafood mac to me, I'm giving that like an 8. The seafood mac to me was very underwhelming. I would say 6.5, honestly. Dang. Like, okay, I will give them credit because the lobster mac actually had a lot of lobster. Like, the seafood mac had a lot of lobster, had a lot of crab meat, it had a lot of shrimp. I will give them that 100%. But to me, all fancy restaurants don't know how to make mac and cheese. Like, it just don't never hit. It tastes like Velveeta that they put toppings on. Like, I'm just not a fan, okay? I like black people soul food mac and cheese. If it ain't black people soul food mac and cheese, I don't want it, okay? That's just how I feel. But overall, we had a good day. Um, we are about to head home. Oh, that's ice cream, please. It's too cold to be eating ice cream. Um, yeah, but we're on our way home. We had a good day. And take this as your friendly reminder to do something fun with your partner. Go out of the city, go to a new state, and do a dinner date night or something like that. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end. <laughs> Why are you looking at the camera like that? Because I don't know what's looking at me. It is looking at you because you look good. Thanks, babe. My handsome man. Y'all, so we just got home and I thought this vlog was gonna be over. We got home, Eric starts going through the boxes, looking at the food. Y'all, why is my ribeye not in the to-go boxes? Mind you, they packed the to-go boxes for us. I'm pissed, y'all, because I barely ate any of my steak. But we're two, like three hours away from them. So it's not like we can go back and get another steak. So I'm like, how y'all gonna rectify this? What y'all gonna give my money back? So I'm just like. They're not giving that money back. They're not, but they can give me a gift card or yeah, something. Yeah, gift card is perfect. We'll go back. Um, but yeah, y'all, I'm so pissed. So Eric's food is in there. His little three measly lamb chops. Compared to my full steak is missing. So they made sure to give us the stuff that was like barely left over. They even packed up the damn bread. But forgot my ribeye. Like, I'm so salty right now. But yeah, so we called, well, Eric called them and we're gonna wait. They said that a manager would reach out to us today or tomorrow. I'm sorry if my face looks dry, y'all, because I literally put on my nighttime acne ointment and got comfortable because I thought this vlog was over, y'all, but I just had to hop on here and tell y'all this. So if you go to Safe 48 or for any place, check your food before you leave, okay? Because I'm positive they just threw a whole ribeye in the trash. And it could have been an accident, but. That ribeye was $90. <laughs> and that ribeye was $90, y'all. And that's why I'm tweaking, honestly, too, because it's like, it'd be different if it was like a little piece left. It was almost the whole thing. So I'm salty. So, Steak 48, hopefully, y'all rectify the situation. I will put on screen what they decided to do, because, y'all, I'm ending this vlog. Like, I'm sorry, but I just had to come on here and tell y'all literally about this mishap but anyways i'm actually gonna end the vlog here hopefully steak 48 rectified this if not i'm gonna go and yelp and google and blast them so if you see some bad reviews on the philly steak 48 it's from me okay all right but anyways i love you babes good night bye